I gotta say, I'm really liking how creative Hasbro is getting with their multi-packs and keeping figures individually carded with multi-pack releases is really nice, especially for the collectors who are in it for that beautiful VC Kenner style card back. Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another RebelScum.com video. Today, we're reviewing the new Vintage Collection Obi-Wan Kenobi series, Obi-Wan Kenobi from The Final Showdown, and Darth Vader from Duel's End, which is also from The Final Showdown, from the thrilling finale of the Kenobi series, and both figures come individually carded within this box, and it's awesome. I love that Hasbro, like I said at the beginning of this video, has been getting more creative. It kind of started with those box sets of, you know, four carded figures and three carded figures here and there, like they did with the Skiff Guards, the Bad Batch 4 pack, the Kenobi 3 pack, where you got... Tika, Tibidon, and Phase 2, Purge Trooper, so on and so forth. And now we've come down to these, you know, two-pack releases where we got Obi-Wan and Vader here, where we got Princess Kinesa and Wicket from the Ewok series, and we have Jedi Revan and HK-47 on a VC card finally, although hopefully maybe we get an updated, more articulated HK-47 one day also, but... Hey, getting them on a card back is really, really awesome and a step in a good direction, I think, in my book at least. So hopefully you guys were excited about that too. But anyway, here we have the outer box. So both figures come carded within this outer box. On this side, you've got an image of the Vader figure. On this side, you've got an image of the Obi-Wan figure. On the back, you get to see both figures on their card back side by side on display, whereas on the front, you have the two figures facing off with the sticker image of the two carded figures side by side on display on their card backs. And that's pretty much it for the outer packaging. Now for the individual card backs. We're gonna go ahead and start off with Kenobi here. A, because it's his show, and B, because, well, this is VC number 290, and the Vader that comes in this pack is VC 291. So technically, this one comes first anyway. So here is the new Kenobi figure on his card back out of the outer box. So you can see him right there. You got that awesome artwork there from the final duel. This is hashtag unpunched here at the top. On the back, you got some images of other figures from throughout the VC line, as well as the number VC290 there on the back corner. And that's pretty much it for Obi-Wan Kenobi's packaging. And here is Vader on his packaging as well. There's that awesome Vader figure with that split open helmet right there. Also, hashtag unpunch, just like Kenobi. There's that awesome Vader artwork on the side. On the back, VC-291, other VC figures and things. And that's pretty much it for the Vader packaging as well. And here is Kenobi and Vader out of the packaging. And both of these figures look fantastic. I am so excited about this Vader in particular. But first and foremost, 290. We got to get to Kenobi first. So here is the new Kenobi. And yeah, the face sculpt looks really, really great on this one. Got that got that nice mullet haircut like he had in Attack of the Clones going on this one once again. And fully articulated. Head is on a ball joint. Fully articulated shoulders. Single jointed elbows. Wrist joints. Waist. Hips, upper thigh, single jointed knees, ankle joints. He comes with not only his signature lightsaber here, but he also comes with an unignited hilt, which you can plug, there it is, 
on the side of his belt over here towards the back of his belt, like so. And he still has his holster and his little blaster pistol that he had in the series, which you can see here. Same blaster pistol that the other figures came with. And I mean, of course, why wouldn't it be? It's the one he uses throughout the series. So there you have that right there. Not bad, pretty awesome figure. And more excitingly though, I mean, really, in my opinion, the Vader is the standout here because this Vader is so very awesome. This is the first battle damage Vader we have in the vintage collection. Not the first battle damage Vader we have in general, but the first one we got in the vintage collection and just the way they nailed that helmet split here, just it looks so fantastically good. This Vader is fully articulated, head is on a ball joint, fully articulated shoulders, although you've got the shoulder pads right here, so that will catch on that just so you know, so be mindful of it. Single jointed elbows, wrist joints, waist, hips, upper thigh, single jointed knees, ankle joints. And then aside from your standard Vader suit, which this is not, there's some other really cool detail like the damaged respirator box here, battle damaged helmet, of course. The cape is frayed on the bottom all over the place, as well as there being big gashes in the back because there is a point where he gets caught on his back. And it's really cool because you can see the armor exposed underneath through that gash. I really like that a lot. Cloth goods on this part as well. And then there's one other really cool feature to this figure that I really, really like a lot. The helmet is removable. Now, the helmet and mask are all one piece on this one. And it's got to be because of the way the damage is. And you can even see the burns molded onto the helmet there and painted on as well, which that looks really, really good. But here is that face sculpt, which is a very Hayden inspired face sculpt for Vader and the head individually articulates inside the collar on this Vader. And I, I love that so much. That is so amazing. The detail on the scarring looks really good. He's still got more of that pinkish skin tone versus that gray skin tone that he has by the time of Return of the Jedi because he hasn't, you know, healed as much yet. He hasn't had as many sessions in the back of the tank as he's had by the time of Return of the Jedi. So it's nice to see that they didn't just copy the flesh tone of the other Vader and carry it over to this one because he should have been a little bit more noticeably pink at this point too. So I really, really like that a lot. Overall, they did an amazing job on this Vader. He looks fantastic. And so does the Obi-Wan. This really is a great, great two pack, especially if you don't have a Kenobi yet for the Kenobi series or just in general, or don't have a really good Vader that you like yet. Both of these are really great options for a Kenobi Invader, especially if you're just looking for that one for your collection or that one for your Kenobi collection. And I would definitely go with this one for sure if it was just me. But there are other really good releases that we have reviewed here on rebelscum.com of Kenobi from the Kenobi series, as well as Vader's from the Kenobi series. So check those out as well. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's review featuring the new Vintage Collection numbers 290 and 291 Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader from the final duel of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. What did you think of the final duel of the Kenobi series? For me, it was one of the coolest saber fights ever. Whenever they put Vader and Kenobi together, they do not disappoint. They didn't disappoint in 77, they didn't disappoint in 2005, and they most certainly did not disappoint with the Kenobi series. Like and subscribe and follow us on social media for more. Check out some of our other content, including many other vintage collection reviews here on rebelscum.com. Check out rebelscum.com daily for daily Star Wars fan content, including VC reviews and news and other content. 
Check out our sister website, CoolToyReview.com for daily non-Star Wars toy related content. And like and subscribe to the Cool Toy Review and Bay 12 YouTube channels for that non-Star Wars toy review content. In our nearly 30 year long history, we are hosting the first official Rebel Scum Con this summer, June 27th through the 30th. Make sure you go to Rebel Scum Conventions with an S.com. Once again, that's Rebel Scum Conventions dot com to book your experience today and come hang out with us if you're a star wars fan you are welcome we want you there and we are excited to spend time with you all the celebrity guests that we have signed up and the many other talented star wars fans who are setting up an artist alley as well as the star wars vendors that are setting up in the vendor room and all the other activities and things we have to show at rebel scum con if you're looking for some awesome Star Wars toys, collectibles, and other merch, check out Order 66 Toys, the world's official all-collectible Star Wars toy store. Located in the Order 66 Multiverse in the shops at Willowbin Mall in Plano, Texas. Or, in case you're not local, you can find them on the Order 66 Toys Facebook page. They go live every Friday night at 7 p.m. Central Time, and they ship all around the world. Last but not least, check out our free archival website, CollectorsOracle.com, which doesn't have these two figures on there currently, but they will be getting archived soon. There are, however, just about every single other VC, Black Series, and retro release of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader archived on CollectorsOracle.com, and with that, you can mark them in your collection, Mark them in your want list, share those lists with friends, family, and social media alike. And it's all absolutely free to use. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.